Hello everyone, my name is Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amber Reads Romance. Today I'm gonna to be going over my TBR for the month of September. Um, I kind of have quite a few books on here, so hopefully I'll be able to stick to this TBR. Not sure if I'll get through all of these because of mood reading and if I'm reading I'm behind in reading or anything like that. So hopefully I'll be able to stick to this TBR. It has been kind of great doing a TBR. I never did it except for when I like started this channel. And I've only really been doing it for a couple months, few months. And it's helped me really get through books that like, I'm in the middle of so many series <laughs> that like I swap between series. So it's helping me kind of get some of these series finished or at least trying to. So um, I'm going to start off with our buddy read. Um, so let's just dive right into that. And then also I'm going to go over some of my hopeful arcs. I'm not sure if I'm going to get approved or, you know, for all of these arcs, but I want to add them to my TBR just in case I do get them. Um, one of them I'm pretty positive I will get because I got the last couple books um, in the series and I've been loving it. Um, so for our buddy read, we are going to be reading... Um, if you don't know, we do a buddy raid um, for me, uh, Bestie Book Reviews and Bookmark by Jen. We all do a buddy read each month. Um, this next month for September, we're going to be on Bookmark by Jen's channel. And we are going to be doing Deliver by Pam Godwin. I'm super excited because I love Pam Godwin. I've only read a few of her books, but two of them were six stars for me. So, I mean... She's the queen of dark romance. She's so good. She gets so much emotional, like hits you in the heart when it's a dark subject matter. Um, Deliver is going to be a really dark romance, so just check your triggers. If you are planning on reading with us, I hope you do. Um, we don't for sure have the date because I think we might have to switch it around because um, one of us wasn't available the weekend we originally planned on it. So stay tuned for that announcement of when the buddy um, live show will be. Um, but I'm super excited because I love Pam Godwin and I'm really excited to get into this. It, it does deal with sex trafficking and pretty messed up people in it. Like, so just be aware. So, but I've heard amazing things about this series, so I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a big hit. Um, and then let's go into the hopeful arcs that I have. So the one that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get is Stolen Hearts by Jagger Cole. Um, I think this is going to be one of the sisters um, from the family in like the first book. Um, and I think she has like an arranged marriage with somebody she does not want to get married to. He's super old and she doesn't want anything to do with him. So I think that's who this romance is. But I could be wrong. I didn't really fully look it up yet. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure I'll get that one, but I'm very excited for that one because I have just loved this series and I'm really loving Jagger Cole's writing. Um, it just sucks you in. It's sexy. It's fun. It's dark. You know, it's a great mafia romance series. Um, then the other one that I went for was Sinner's Redemption by Bianca Burrell. Um, I don't know anything about this author. This is the first time I've ever tried to get anything of theirs. I think this one might be a mafia one too. Um, I went for it. If I see the mafia or the dark, dark vibes, I'm going to try and request that. Um, and then I'm hoping if I don't get the arc, I'm definitely reading it in September because it's supposed to release in September. I'm going to be um, hopefully getting the arc for Unruly, which is the second book. Well, I mean, it's technically, it's like, I think the fourth book in the Wild series, but it's the second book of this second generation um, where it's based off the Wild world. And if you don't know what that is, it's extremely taboo. The Wild was a father-daughter romance, and this is their children. Um, so it's pretty crazy. It's an MMF between, like, siblings. And it end, the last book ended in such a crazy cliffhanger that I was dying for the second book. So I'm super excited. If I don't get the arc, I'm still going to read it. Um, this one is kind of in question because the release date got pushed back. And I don't know if it's going to get pushed back again. And then I don't know if I'll even get the arc for it. But that is The Lovely Return by Carrie Ann Cole. Um, so I think this was supposed to come out in on the 28th of September. But again, um, it might get pushed back. I'm not sure when it's for sure going to release. But I'm hopeful that it will come out then. If I don't get the arc for it, I'll probably read it like in October or whatever. So um, that one's very questionable. I don't even know if I'll get that one. 
Um, and then I requested also Endgame, which is this hockey romance by Serena Ackroyd. Um, she's writing, she's starting like a hockey series, I believe. And she's writing under a different name. It's G.A. Mazurki, I believe. Um, but so I'm really excited to see that because I've been really enjoying Serena Ackroyd's Five Points Mafia and her MC series. So to see how she writes a hockey romance will be kind of interesting since I read most of her dark romance stuff. Um, and the last one is Merciless by Tracy Lorraine. I don't know much about this, but I think they were doing like PR boxes and stuff. So I really wanted to jump into that. I don't know if I'll get one, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So those are my hopeful arcs. Um, let's just go ahead and dive into the books that I want to read for this month. Um, I was really wanted to read some of Rena Kent's new releases because I've heard a lot of good things about them. But I kind of stopped reading the series. I was reading, I think it's like the, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it, the first book was Deviant King. And I read that like trilogy, which is within this large series. I read it a long time ago. It's a bully romance. Um, I believe it's high school. Could be college. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Um, I think it's like the Elite series or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, um, but I wanted to reread though that those three because I forgot a lot that happened and it was like kind of this crazy trilogy of books that kind of puts you on a whirlwind and there's lots of reveals and twists and turns. So I wanted to continue throughout this like reading order that Rena Kent put out um, so I could kind of catch up to now and read some of her newer releases um, because I think the newer releases are like that series kids. So it's like a second generation. So I wanted to read their books. So for this month, I'm hoping to get through all three of those um, as rereads. So I'm going to read Deviant King, Seal Princess, and Twisted Kingdom. So we'll see if I can get through all three of those. It just depends on how my mood is going. But I do want to do like maybe some vlogs of like going through Rena Kent um, because I remember really loving this series, but it is pretty crazy. So I really want to reread those. And then finally, I'm going to get to the last book in the Stay a Spell series, which is Grimm and Barrett. And I am so excited because I have been reading for Henry. He's a Grimm. And I've been waiting for his romance, like, the whole series. And I love the Grimm, like, the Grimms in these books. I just think they're really fascinating. They're super powerful, and you don't know all their powers. And I'm just loving the Stay a Spell series. Um, Juliet Cross is just such a great author. And I'm so happy I discovered her because I've absolutely loved this series. So I can't wait to get to that book. Um, and then I'm going to continue with the Lily Main. I am loving her Monstrous series. I've only read two books, but they've been amazing so far. So I'm going to go into the third book, which is The Reich. And he was, the Reich was kind of brought up in the previous book and he's like, it's super powerful, mysterious monster. So I'm excited to see what this monster is like. Um, and then I want to read, um, I'm continuing with the like novella series by Claire Kent, which is like the hold was the first one where it was like a prison planet. Um, so I think this is book three and that is the fall. So I want to, I trying to put some novellas mixed in here. So I'm not read. I read like lots of thick books in the month of August. So I'm trying to put in some novellas here. Um, then I want to continue with Nikki Harris's series. Um, I loved his pretty little burden and his pretty little queen. Those were amazing. Um, his pretty little burden was another six star for me. And Nikki Reed is like a new favorite author of mine. So I want to continue with that series. And that is, um, their broken legend. And that's the youngest brother's story. And he's become like a boxer. I don't know too much about it. Cause I kind of wanted to go in blind a little bit to these. Um, and then I also want to continue Neva Altaj's uh, Mafia series. It's so, they're really quick, short Mafia books, and they're really sweet, and they're, I, I just loved every hero in each of the books. And this one is um, Stolen Touches. So I'm excited to get into that one. Um, then I'm going to continue. As you can see, I'm continuing a lot of series. <laughs> I'm trying to get a book in a bunch of different series I'm reading so that I can slowly continue through these and get some of these series finished. Um, so the next one that I have is Tilly Cole's um, MC series that deals with like cults 
and these women that escaped this horrible cult and they're kind of living with the, this MC. And the next one is Souls Unfractured. And I'm so excited for this because the male hero in that is, I think his name's Flame. He's like very damaged and like, he'll like cut himself and he likes pain. And you could just tell he had such maybe an abusive past or something. So I'm really interested to see his character and get his book. So I'm really, really excited for that one. Um, then I really wanted to get ready because Harley LaRue's third book in that, I can't remember what the series is called, but the first one was kind of like a demon thing. And, um, I never continued with the second book and, um, the third book I think is coming out soon. So I'm going to read Her Soul for Revenge. And that's the second book in that series, kind of getting ready to go into October. I kind of read, want to read more paranormals and spooky things in October. Um, so I'm excited to finally read that one. Um, the next one that I have is actually a continuation of another series. This is Serena Aykroyd's um, Five Points Mafia. I've been rating it in the order that she lists. And so I just read um, the in the MC series. So I finished that like Hawk in the MC series. And now we're going back to the Five Points Mafia. So this is going to be filthy hot. So I honestly don't know anything about this. Um, I can't even, don't even know which hero it is. I just know I need to finish it. Um, and then I've seen a Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff talk about the mating game, I believe. Oh, the mate games. Um, and I didn't know anything about it, but I did have it on like a list of my TBR. So I'm going to read Obsession, um, the mate games. It's book one and we'll see how that goes. I don't know anything about it. So I'm kind of going in blind and hoping that it's going to be a great read. Okay, and then um, I'm planning probably to do a vlog because I have been putting these books off. I've had, I have them, physical copies, and I need to read them. And so I want to read The Priest by Sierra Simone. Um, you guys probably already know what this is about. It's everywhere. Everyone's already read it. Um, some people don't like it. Some people love it. Um, but it is a romance with a priest. And then I'm going to read the second one, which is The Sinner. Um, so I might do a vlog for this one, um, because I kind of want to read some taboo reads, um, and do like a taboo vlog. So I definitely plan on reading those two. Oh, and then there was kind of seemed like a novella, but I think it might be less than 200 pages, but Sarah Kate like kind of put it out that she had these on Kindle Unlimited. I read uh, Burn For Me, which was like a student teacher, like um, bully kind of romance where it was the, the male was the student. And then she has another book like within that called Fire and Ash. And I think it might be a male male. I'm not positive, but it was like a shorter book. So I thought I'd throw that in here. Okay, so some audiobooks. Some of the things that I know are on audiobooks. I try to like put a list together of audiobooks that I can read because um, I'm able to listen to audiobooks while I'm at work. So that gives me more time. So um, I think I should be able to get all these available. Some of these are on AnyPlay. Um, I'm, I think the most of them are. So you should be able to get these if you have AnyPlay. I definitely recommend it. Um, so I'm going to get Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert. This is a really quick audiobook. I think it's only like four or five hours because it is one of her novellas. I've always seen about a lot about it, and I love, like, Boyfriend's Dad. I don't know why I do, but I just love it. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, then I'm going to read The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. Um, I've only read The Doctor, I think, in that series. And I love that this is like an older woman, younger man. And so I'm excited to read that one. Um, then I have Rave by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I believe this is like a male nanny. Um, so I wanted to get more like single mom kind of Rexin. I want to read some. like So some of these like books that I'm reading are kind of like need to get more stuff for rec videos almost. Um, so like I'm inspired by certain stuff. So I really wanna read, you know, like a single mom, younger man, I think he's younger. Then I haven't continued Kennedy Ryan series because the first book was so emotional. Um, it dealt with a lot of domestic violence and abuse. And so it just, so her books are very emotional. So I didn't continue, but I need to. So I'm gonna be reading Block Shot by Kennedy Ryan. 
Um, I'm not really sure who that's even about in this series. I think the third one's about her friend, um, from the heroine's friend from the first one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then I am going to read my last book and Cora Riley's Bound by Blood. And then, because I finished the Kumar Chronicles, I forgot to read this one book in the Bound by Blood series, um, which is like Dante and Valentina's second book. I don't know if it's even going to be good. Um, the last two books in the Kumar Chronicles were a big. <clears throat> so um, I'm hoping this one will be decent, but I want to get all of them done because I want to do a Cora Riley um, video. So I really want to read this. So I'm going to be reading Bound by the Past by Cora Riley. And I'm just hoping it's better than the last two I've read because I gave the last two like two stars. And I'm pretty nice on Goodreads and I gave it two stars. So. And I'm continuing with another series, which is Penelope Douglas's, like, the Fall Away series. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, but this is the third book, and it's called Rival. I think it's, like, the hero from Bully, his best friend, Maddox, I think. And I think it's, like, a stepbrother, stepsister thing. So we'll see. Um, and then I actually read um, The Surviving Trays because Bestie Book Reviews always recommends it. It's a time traveling romance and it actually ended on a cliffhanger. So I need to dive into the next one. And that is the reigning and the rule by Calia Reed. So I'm really excited to get into this one because I love the surviving trace. I thought it was a really unique, beautiful, um, time traveling story. Okay. So this next one is a huge one that everybody talks about. And I actually found it on AnyPlay because I was going to buy the book because it's not on Kindle Unlimited, but it's actually on AnyPlay. So I'm going to read Binding 13. Um, I know Bookmark by Jen talks about this book and like this series a lot. And I've seen it blown up on Instagram, so I'm hoping it's going to be worth the hype. So I'm really excited to finally read that one. Um, and then I am going to read, um, I hopefully, I don't know if this is available because it kept coming up available on any play, but then it wouldn't let me play it. So we'll see. Um, but I am trying to get through the Bridgerton series. I read the first book, um, in August. I've never read it. I'm probably the only one. And so the second book is The Viscount Who Loved Me, or Viscount, sorry, um, Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn. So I'm planning on reading that one. So those are the books that I have for the month of September. Let me know if you know any good new releases or anything that you guys are excited about. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you can, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.